I work as a writing tutor in the college. I work higher up in the department and I also teach tutors. I teach them about teaching writing to students. I also teach them how to tutor. And the concept I talk a lot about are higher order of concerns and lower order of concerns. And while this is a principle mostly applied to writing, I feel that it's a helpful concept to know in other life areas in general. Uh, the examples I'll be using all, will be writing specific. However, uh, feel free to apply them in your life in other ways. Higher and lower order concerns have nothing to do with importance. They are both needed and necessary in writing. We separate them into higher and lower order concerns, not due to their importance, but due to what needs to be done first. They are both equally as important and needed done, in, and needed to be done in order to have a well-written paper. However, if you look at them in this specific way, it'll help save you time. So when I talk about higher order concerns, when you're writing a paper, we're talking about things like fulfilling the assignment, uh, the structure of it, does it have a strong thesis, the real basic skeleton of what this paper is, uh, including like format and citations, outside sources, those types of things. Low order concerns focus more on things like grammar, proofreading, spelling checks, uh, just those minor little details. And while both areas are important in writing a paper, it doesn't make sense to focus an hour on whether or not a comma should be there or not when you're working in a paragraph that's gonna be cut in the end anyway. Uh, so a higher order of concerns helps save time in dealing those first. You always start with your higher order of concerns. I use the example, if you write the best comparing trust paper in your life, it doesn't matter how good it is if your assignment was for a cause and effect essay. It doesn't matter if there's not a single grammar error or if it's just like the most beautiful thing you've ever written. You are still going to fail that assignment because you did it wrong. That's why we do those higher order of concerns first. It helps save time. Lower order concerns are more like polishing. It's helpful to fine tune and you definitely don't want to get hand in the paper that's unpolished, but it doesn't make sense to start focusing on whether you should have a semicolon or a period or coordinating conjunction if the whole paragraph is going to get cut out in the end anyway. So the best way to sum it up, higher order concerns are your content. Changing your higher order concerns will directly change your lower order concerns. Your lower order concerns will not change your higher order concerns. It'll clean it up, it'll polish them, but it won't change. I always emphasize to students how important it is to get your ideas down first. When you have an idea, you can work on it, you can polish it, you can fix it up, but if you don't have those good ideas down, you can't write a good paper. I have an expression with students, good ideas are like diamonds. It doesn't matter how dirty they may be, how buried they might be, diamonds are still diamonds. You can only, always polish it up and make it shine. If you have a pile of manure, no amount of polishing is going to make that shine. Manure will still be manure. So make sure you have those diamonds, those good ideas down first, and then polish them up afterwards. Get those higher order concerns out of the way first, and then lower order concerns. So if you take this out into other things in your life, okay, where do you need to focus in the structure and organization or concept of something before you worry about those little details and help you save you time and energy. So if you are a student, I highly recommend you use this in your papers and your work. If you're out there in the field, I'd love to learn how you adapt this technique into your life. I post videos for you, please. I'll see you next time.